Hello, Annie Corrier and welcome to another video. This time I'm trying something different. I'm going to walk you through the dome monument. How to get up and down, why you should visit it, the loot you can find, the infrastructure around it and even some tips and tricks to make visiting that little more meaningful. Little fun fact to get your taste buds going, the dome is the only major monument to not have a recycler. So yeah, you can have that one for free. So the dome then, what makes it decent? Well, you don't need key cards to access this one. You can find the dome on any map and there isn't even any SAM sites to take you down if you try and fly straight to the top. It's pretty simple to get up. All you have to do is follow a simple route which I'm going to show you now. The dome is a useful area for players at the early stages of the game because its radiation levels are much lower than monuments like the power plant or the launch site. To get up, you start by finding the fallen pipe just at the back of the utility shed right here. You can run up the pipe and jump across to the broken pipe before making your way up the broken stairs. Run up the stairs and you'll see a pipe taking you to the middle. All you have to do is walk up this pipe and then follow the walkway to the middle of the dome. There's normally some crates in here to loot as well. Walk through the other side and continue up. Jump on the barrels and continue across to the pipe jump. This can be a little bit tricky if you've never done it before, but all you have to do is jump, run across and jump again, and you'll have this mastered in no time. Carry on running around and you'll see a balance pipe. Follow it around the walkway and it'll take you back into the dome but higher up this time. Now when you go to the other side you're going to find the hardest bit of the whole monument. It's a little hit and miss the first couple of times you try it but don't get disheartened because once you get used to the jump you'll hit it first time every time. All you have to do is make sure you run and jump early enough that you can get across. Once you've made it follow the ramps up. You'll find yourself back outside and then you can just follow the route all the way to the top where you'll find some sweet military crates sitting on the ring at the top. There is another way to get up and all you have to do is get to the part with the pipe balance beam and you'll see a sloped broken pipe. All you need to do is jump on this and walk to the top. It's quite tricky to balance up the slope but once you get up there it becomes much easier and then you just run all the way around the ring. Not many people know about this, so if someone is camping the original route to the top, all you have to do is go out this way and you'll come up behind them, giving you a little bit of an advantage as well. Now to get down, you can use the big pipes as guides. There's a couple of ways to do this, but always aim to get between the pipes. As you're falling, keep walking backwards using S and you will get down with no damage. Now there's lots and lots of ways down. That is my favorite way but you need to find a way that suits you the best. One thing to remember is the fact that the dome is sloped inwards like a bowl. So the fastest way down is to simply find an inside wall to hug as you fall in and you'll take no damage every time. If all this is too hard for you, all you have to do is jump on a spare minicopter and you can simply fly to the top, collect any loot and fly away again. This is a common tactic for lots of players that visit the dome because you get lots of decent mid-tier equipment within minutes and you can fly away all within relative safety. Now, as I mentioned, the dome is good for lots of different types of loot. You can find four military crates at the top. In these, you'll always find stuff like scrap. Then there's a chance of pipes, high qual tech trash, rifle and SMG bodies, supply signals, rocket launchers. Pretty much everything mid to top tier. The list is almost endless. As you move further down, you'll find standard crates that can contain anything from electrical components to hazmat suits to satchels to combat knives. You'll even find a few medical crates which contain, well, medical equipment. There's standard barrels which will give you the most basic components. Then there's oil barrels that contain low grade fuel and crude oil to make into low grade fuel. Finally, there's the newer diesel barrels. You can collect these to give you diesel to power the large excavator monument, but that's another video. The dome offers access to two oil refineries, which can be found inside the two small metal sheds located around the tank's base. 
The surplus of the crude oil that can be found in many of the red barrels around the monument allows easy access to quick production of low grade fuel. So it might be worth taking an axe or some wood with you and if it's nice and quiet make the most of turning this crude oil into low grade. If you like PvP and quick progression in game I'd suggest setting up near the dome. You can keep going to collect good gear but remember you won't be the only person adopting this tactic so be careful and try not to fall behind a few days into wipe. Now I really hope you have enjoyed the video, if you've watched it this far let me know you're a legend down below. If there is anything you want me to cover or any other monuments feel free to write it in the comments and I'll get to it as fast as I can. You can find me on social media, again all the links are in the description down below so feel free to come and see what I'm up to. Really appreciate the support, you're all amazing and again see you in the next video.